Hello and welcome. My name is Molly and I am a contributor to The Jew and the Carrot. Um, and with, the, with Christmas right around the corner, I'm willing to bet that you might be planning on ordering some Chinese food. Um, and today I'm going to show you my family's tradition for Christmas, which is to actually make our Chinese food. And we have a pot sticker recipe that's been in my family for generations. Um, and actually last year we just decided to add a little twist to that and add the soup component um, to make our twist on Shanghainese Xiaolongbao. Um, now the soup filling is something that you're going to want to prepare the day before or the morning of. And all it is, is I just use a basic store-bought chicken broth. Um, you can make the chicken broth homemade um, and add things like uh, dried mushrooms or scallions or ginger um, to add some flavor. Um, and that's just going to be mixed with some gelatin. Uh, kosher gelatin is available. Um, it's a little bit difficult to find, so if you're not, if you don't have access to a kosher supermarket, you might try ordering it online. If not, if you just want to scrap the soup portion, these dumplings are going to still taste amazing. Um, and then the dough is a little bit labor intensive. It takes 20 minutes to knead, and then it does have to sit for a little while, um, but it is worth it. I've never used store-bought wrappers because I love the dough. I love making it a little bit thicker um, than a regular store-bought wrapper. Um, so you're gonna roll these out into about three inch or three and a half inch discs, um, making sure to kind of avoid the center as you're rolling them out because you do want the center to be a little bit thicker um, because you don't want the soup, you, you, you don't want the wrapper to break and then have soup explode all over your steamer. Now for the filling, um, for the meat part of the filling, um, I use a ground chicken or you can use ground turkey. Um, and then just to spice in this up, we're gonna add um, some black pepper, some salt, a little bit of sugar, um, and then some rice wine vinegar, some soy sauce. You're gonna have two socks of minced scallions. And then the most distinct part, I think, of this recipe is the ginger. You want to have freshly chopped ginger, about a teaspoon. Um, and that is really the main flavor, I think, that really brings me back home. Um, it's a really distinct flavor in this dumpling. And so, uh, you know, the recipe only says to add one teaspoon, but I occasionally add a little bit more. And then we're also going to add um, about a third of a cup of that chicken broth that we have left over from um, making the jelly. We're just going to stir this up to get a nice, fragrant meat filling. And it's going to be a little bit thin. All right, now to shape the dumplings, we're just going to take one of our wrappers. And I'm a righty, so I put it in my left hand. I just hold it right here. Um, and I make a little cup with my hand. And then uh, we're going to add a little spoonful of about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of the meat filling. We're going to take about half of that of the meat jelly and put it right on top. So you want about a two to one meat to jelly ratio. And then to mold it, you're gonna use your thumb and your pointer finger um, to just start at one end and then go around the edge, gathering little creases. And your thumb is actually gonna stay in the same place. It's basically your pointer finger that's doing uh, all the work. And then you're gonna go all the way around until you've gathered all the dough, and then just kind of twist it at the end just to join it back where you started. And so when you're done, you have a nice round dumpling with a bunch of little creases. All right, so then you're gonna just set it on top of some blanched cabbage in your steamer. And if you don't have cabbage, it's perfectly fine to use some parchment paper cut out um, with some little holes so that the steam comes through. And then you're gonna steam them for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now when the jelly goes into the dumpling and then when it goes into the steamer and it heats up, it's gonna revert back to its original soup form. So now the best part, eating them, which is a little bit of a process. Um, my first time eating them, soup went everywhere. I had no idea what to do. Um, and finally somebody taught me. So the process that you're gonna wanna eat a soup dumpling with is first you wanna very, very gently um, grab the dumpling off of the cabbage and you're gonna put it into a nice large spoon because the spoon is gonna catch the soup. Um, and so it's a two-step thing. First, you're gonna uh, poke a little hole or bite a little hole into the dumpling, slurp out the soup, 
and then eat the rest of the dumpling. And so now our sauce that we have for the dumplings is traditionally gonna be uh, two parts Chinese black vinegar, one part soy sauce, um, and then some fresh ginger. And then I also like to add some fresh scallions and then maybe some sesame oil. Um, so I'm just gonna bite a little bit off of this dumpling, take the soup, and then dip the dumpling into the sauce. And you do have to be really careful because the sauce could be really, really hot and you could really burn your mouth. Mm. Tastes just like home. It's delicious. Enjoy.